Caballero good enough to be your strongest team? Will Caballero? Yes, of course, Willy Caballero can be in, a, in, 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 in any team. I think he's a very good player, he's a very good goalkeeper. He's uh, coming here to have two good players. In this moment, he's playing Joe Hart, but sure, he will have his opportunity soon. And the goal you conceded against Stoke City, which uh, meant you lost that game, how do you view that? Was that a team error? Was it Joe Hart's error? Because he went through no. the I am not waiting for Joe Hart to make a mistake to change him for Willy Caballero. That's, that's why I think Willy Caballero knows, Joe Hart knows, so I'm not waiting for just to make the first mistake to take Joe Hart out. Because I think that Joe is, maybe in the last year he start, he didn't start very well, but he finished very well. In terms, so of leaving Caballero out, in terms of that goal, was it Joe Hart's fault? I analyze the goals in the, with individual mistakes with the players. I only analyze the goals with the press, with the whole team, and I think that a lot of players were involved in that goal. What, uh, what, what uh, particular qualities, um, you know Caballero very well from uh, Malaga, what qualities does he have that, that give you confidence in him? Mm, the best quality is a very good goalkeeper. <laughs> that's, no, no, that's, a, that's his position. <laughs> In terms of is it distribution, shot stopping, is the whole. He's a good goalkeeper. If you want to be a good goalkeeper or a top goalkeeper, you must have all all good. Not distribution to go for the ball, to to win one to one, to go to good safe, not to to concede easy goals. A lot of things that Willy Caballero has a career behind him, and that's why he's here in in a big in a big team. Uh, is it is important for you to have competition for for Joe Martins? It's important for so me to have competition in any position of the, of the, of the team, not with Joe Hart and Willy Caballero. Repeat, Joe, Jason, Joe, Joe Hart or Willy Caballero doesn't make a difference with Zabaleta or Sanya or Mangala de Michelis or Seco Agüero. For me, exactly the same. We need a squad if we want to win something. And would you think of, with three big games in a week, would you think of rotating it so Caballero gets a chance and Harkins rest? I really don't know. Uh, we I will see game by game. Tomorrow we'll play against Arsenal and one hour and 15 minutes before the game you will know which the level starts. Manuel, you mentioned Danny Welbeck before. He's, he's gone to Arsenal for £16 million. Pounds. So since you've got three strikers, would you not have been interested in an English centre forward that could have added to your English quarter? We are always interested in not only in English players, in any nationality players, different nationality players, when they are good players. But I repeat once again that the squad this year was very uh, few, we have very few changes because we didn't have, uh, we cannot spend uh, an important amount of money and we cannot uh, have um, more than uh, 21 players in Champions League. I don't think it's uh, good for a player to spend a lot of money for him and tell me you come here but you cannot play in Champions League. I don't think. In this moment, no, because we had Negredo, Seco, Al, uh, Agüero and Jovetic. We had a four striker that I was very pleased with the four of them, with their performance. Now we have one player less, but I repeat, we had another choices, but we didn't have, to, we cannot spend the money that what we need. Was it hard to choose Alvaro as the man to be the one that got cut? Pardon? But was it hard for you to go and choose Alvaro as the man who got cut from that squad? No, it was not hard because I didn't choose Alvaro as the man to, to be cut. Alvaro wants to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's why he, I allowed him to go because adding the two things that he cannot play Champions League, that he was injured and he was a, a good uh, sell for him and for the club, and he wants to return to Spain for different reasons. So it's not important to, stay, to Spain here. Would you have chosen somebody else? I didn't have to take the decision when, uh, at the moment that I had to take it, I, I would think it about. Fortunately or unfortunately, I didn't have to take that decision, so nobody will know. It's early in, it's early in the but he was injured, eh? so the, in this moment I think that we, had, we, can, we can change a play in December, so for Alvarez it's very difficult to play before the end of October, beginning of November, so of course in this first list he will be out. It's, it's obviously early in the season, I'm well on the Liverpool game, you said that was a game of six points. This this Arsenal and Chelsea games is it very important that you know you get results in, in those games, even though it's early in the season. Games against your big big rivals. Of course, but against big rivals, as you said, of course, it's always a match of six points. More for the local team, and more maybe obligated to to try not to to drop points at, at home. But for for our team, of course, when you play against big team. I repeat, it's a very motivated game for all the players. 
and of course it's always a game of six points because if we can beat Arsenal in, in their home, for our team it's very important. Arsenal had a good result against you in the Community Shield, but do you think um, um, the result last season, the 6-3, will have any sort of bearing on them mentally? We also draw 1-1 one -one against Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium, so it's not only the game we won here after we draw, I think that this is a different game. We are not thinking about what happened last year or what happened in the Community Shield. We have to play tomorrow a very good game if you want to win the three points. As it's an early kickoff, does that make it more difficult to prepare for? Does make any difference to you? The hours of kickoff? Yeah, because it's an early kickoff, is it? Yes, it's a very early kickoff, but uh, we have to do it. We did it uh, another time, so that's not an excuse or a problem. Is it the strongest of possible yeah. test of your squad to have Arsenal, Chelsea in the middle beat by, by Munich? It's a good test. It's a good test because there are three important teams. We are just beginning the season. Not one of the three games will be decisive for nothing in the future. But I think it's very important for our team to start winning and try to recover the three points that we dropped here at home. So do you have different teams in mind? You'll play one tomorrow, a different team against Munich, and then maybe different again for Chelsea? Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking about Arsenal. We'll see after the game what happens with different players. And uh, in, in on Monday, I just we start thinking about Bayern Munich. Sorry, on Sunday, and we play on Saturday. Now we're just thinking about Arsenal. We try to put the best. I will try to to start with the best team that I think that must play that game. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.